years on this tour, Stephen Fleming. We're doing a very good job as captain, but the best job he can do for the side is to be their best batsman. Oh, well, that's a great shot. Trademark Stephen Fleming, down the ground for four. Not much excitement from the crowd, but the shot... Favors that front foot uh, slightly. Stephen Fleming. That's a great shot. So round one to Stephen Fleming. Short and wide outside the off stump, but he smacked it for four. O'Donnell well, gives him a bit of width. He's got that through as well. And a couple more here for Fleming. Might go to the boundary. The outfield is not the quickest here at Kimberley. It is quite a big ground. And then they settle for three. It's a lovely stroke. Wasn't a half volley by any means. He's got enough bat on that. And it looks like it's going to go for four. Yes, it does. So that's an important boundary. Gets this over off to a good start again. And once again, Alan Donald is under pressure in the start of an over. So it wasn't really a half volley. Hit it on the up. Just enough bat on it. That's the 50 partnership as well. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. Magnificent blow on the up. Alice, yeah, well, you can only admire that. You can't complain. No, you can't say too much there. Well, this is probably the best of his straight drives. Timing absolutely perfect. Early on, tendency just to drag a few of those towards mid on. National career, averaging 40. Uh, that's amongst the best in the world. stuff from Jonty Rhodes. Goodness me, the anticipation was absolutely remarkable. The South Africans are celebrating, and I reckon that might be out. Goodness me, that's outstanding stuff. Well, Jonty Rhodes keeps coming up with something different, doesn't he? Rhodes gets across pretty quickly, and quick as a flash. I think he's going to be out. Well, we can't quite see enough of the line there. Roger Toos is diving back full length, but uh, the celebrations have started. Umpire Brian Jerning has uh, asked for the third umpire to have a look. I have a concern here that maybe this footage will be inconclusive. Can't tell from that either. Tough job for the third umpire. And we're not going to be able to see if that's out or not. So obviously the benefit's going to go to the batsman. Well, John T. Rhodes is too quick for the camera. It's a lovely strike. Goodness me, that's a great shot. Couple of bounces over the ropes and bounces back off the advertising boards. Well, on the front foot, over the top. And he just seems to have such good form at the moment as Roger Twos. Certainly not a half volley by any manner of means. That's through. It's a very good stroke from Roger Twos. A little bit more variation from Clues now and has been punished. 142 for two. placement again. Pat, as we look at Stephen Fleming just uh, acknowledging the change room after uh, picking up a 50. It's all played from the skipper. There we are. There's the change room. Chris Cairns at the front with the pads on. Reporting back. Oh, that's a good shot as well. Roger Tews. He waited for it. It was a slower delivery for a year at mid-on. Couldn't cut it off. Very clever shot. And that's gone wide of mid on for four more. Big over this for Roger Twos. So he wins the battle verbally because he wins the battle with the bat. It's 177 for two. That's a marvellous blow. And it's gone all the way. That's a tremendous shot. It didn't really look like he hit it that hard, Roger Twos, but he did in great track. He's from the crimson, perfectly in his dock. And just swings through the line. Just swings through the line. Telemachus just turns on his heels and he's back to his mark. He doesn't even glance in the direction of the batsman. He knows who's won that battle. That's also a big one. That's a lovely shot. Brings up the 200. And it's gone like a tracer bullet through extra cover and also brings up twos as 50. All well, New Zealand supporters will be happy with this. No doubt. 
60 deliveries has taken him to get his 51. He gets it in style. That is a good shot. He set that one pretty well, and it's gone for four. One bounce four. It's a good strike, an important one. Well, that was in the slot for twos. It wasn't the right length from Bahia. He allowed twos to get underneath it. Got a ball at Fuller now. Make sure he can't get under the, the ball. It went so quickly, Kuzner really had no time to get around. Oh, that's a glorious stroke. A straight drive. One bounce for terrific stroke. Well, that was it so powerfully. That long on, long off, couldn't get around. Beautiful straight bat. Fleming's on form now. He's on fire. It's in the air. It's in the air for a long time. The field is not going to get there. And they come back for two more. They're going to look for two here. Put we'll it up. Could be very close indeed. It might be out. Brian Jerling has asked for the third umpire to have a look. I don't think Stephen Fleming's made it. In fact, he's starting to walk towards the pavilion. The South Africans are celebrating, and this could be a huge mistake for New Zealand. Well, this is a good throw. As good as you're going to get. Pick up in a flash over the top. Yes, he's gone. That's a big blow at a critical time for New Zealand. And that's good fielding. No doubt about it. So that's the end of Stephen Fleming. He really has played extremely well. Yes. Donald. Got that away. That's a good stroke. That's going to go for four. So once again, a boundary off the first ball of the over. Donald's woes continue. Well, Donald asking a lot of himself now. Around the wicket with the angle going down the leg side and then having fine leg up in the circle. That's a dangerous play. Especially for twos is in. Anything straight, you'll work it around. I wouldn't be surprised to see Pollock readjusting that field. Coming around the wicket. The natural angle takes it down the leg side. And Kirsten's in the edge of the circle. Mind you, he's in five meters, so probably needs to stay on the edge of the circle there. Thick outside edge just goes past the outstretched hand of Mark Boucher for four more. Second boundary off the over. Well, Alan Donald's not happy with this. As all fast bowlers around the world aren't happy with these kind of things. Just eluding Boucher. Straight to first slip had it been in. Donald shows disappointment. He's given him some width and he's just slapped that one. Square for four. Great shot. Well, Roger Twos hits the ball hard. And any width, he throws that big bat at it. On past Jonty Rose like a rocket. Yeah, this is, could be four more note. Phil will get round on this occasion. Who's looking to come back? Thinks better of it. Out. Unlucky Roger Twos. He picked out Sean Pollock. He's been in the action in the last uh, half hour or so. In the field with the ball and as captain. And Roger Twos, who had lost momentum, he'd lost the strike. Can't quite get it wide or over the rope. He actually hits it very well and Pollock takes a good catch because that one was coming at pace. And he was uh, 10 metres or so in from the boundary but did well to hang on to it. 283 for 6, Roger 2 has gone for a very well played 90.